Arm sucks. Welcome to Gromit Games. Today we are going to be talking about the Global Test Punch for ARMS, the new Nintendo Switch game coming out on whenever it comes out. I think it's, uh, I think it's June, June 16th. Yeah, it's like June. Is it really that soon? Yeah. It's like the day after E3 ends. Yeah, I can't buy that then. Sorry. Because right. uh, I have to pay for Wipeout for my mom. Sucks. <laughs> it's like the day after uh, Nintendo's E3 conference. Oh. Uh, okay, well. Video's over. Can't buy it. I was gonna say our, our general like opinion, opinion between us, like individually, has kind of been inverted. I initially didn't really like it, and now now after playing it, I think it's honestly it's it's it's, it's I and but Mike Mike. I was it. pretty excited for it before playing it, then after I'm just kind of iffy on it. Probably won't buy it till more content's there. My opinion is it still stands that I don't think it's worth sixty dollars. No, I kind of agree still, no, but I, I kind of I kind of want to play it though still more. I'd like to play more, but right now I don't think it's worth sixty dollars at all. No, probably not. I mean, it's just it. I don't know. It's lacking something. I don't. I mean, obviously the test punch only has um, multiplayer. Multiplayer and like a party mode with all these shitty modes that we hated. Volleyball. The only the, the 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 purest and best form of the game is one v one. Yeah, three v th or um, two v two, three per three person free for all is fine. Was okay. It's, yeah, it's all right. Especially after I learned that you can actually switch targets. Switch targets because on the first day we actually, we do recording this after the second day in the test punch. After the first um, first day, I didn't know you could do that, so I was just kind of trying to deal with it. I don't think a lot of people knew that though, so it was kind of it was it was even on the playing field. I learned after I switched to the traditional controls and the right stick, I figured out did it. Yeah, we also figured out that the game forces you to play with the motion controls, which are terrible because it's just it feels gross. Not that good. They're the best type way of control. <laughs> it feels it feels gross and unintuitive. But, um... For motion controls, they're okay. I'm there, yeah, they're motion controls, but they're still, like, wonky and weird. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just so much better to use the Red controller. And the only way we figured out to do that was you either have to plug them into the system or plug them into one of the grips. Yeah. Or a Pro Controller, but... Oh, yeah, or a Pro Controller, but none of us have no that because Pro controller. that's ridiculously expensive for something that has, like, no point at all. Yeah. But overall, the game was fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing it. I don't know how often I would play or how long I'd end up playing it if I were to buy it. Just because it doesn't feel like there's much to put into it. It feels like a game I could pick up, play a few matches of, and put down really easily. See, that's kind of what I want from it, though. I don't have to really learn anything. Especially in a handheld. I mean, there's you can you can get better, but I mean, there yeah. aren't like there aren't a hundred thousand tedious combos to learn like from a different that's uh, fighting game. But there are, because you can have different hands. And nah, different, different hands. Different hands, That's just so changing different up combos. Your strategy. And just, well, there aren't really combos in a sense in the game. The most of the combos are is like using a propeller hand and knock them into the yeah. side, and then following that up. I well, mean, yeah. even even for what like if Smash has combos, then this game like barely has combos. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Smash doesn't have combos in the traditional sense; it's just kind of chaining together moves. Yeah, that's which is what I, I mean. It's what a combo is, but like a traditional fighting game has like specific move sets that they mm -hmm. label and whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. The weakest of the modes, in my opinion, was volleyball. Oh yeah, two v two volleyball sucks, especially with the fact that like you. Anybody who is playing it can basically just like keep playing it by the net. You can keep it low by the net, and then right after, uh, right after you put you like get it to the net, someone can just punch it right over as soon as it's about to like blow up because it's only there for a certain amount of time. Uh, Tom will probably put footage in there before, but like, you can see that it's going to be flashing red, and in about like a certain amount of time that'll explode, and then it just drops right where it is. So, so someone can just literally just punch it over, and then it'll immediately explode and just drop down on your side. There's not much you can do about it. It's kind of a crapshoot too, whether it's gonna flip flop over oh. the net. Oh yeah. You have no idea. Yeah, honestly, it could it could come from this side and then just bounce and then just kind of awkwardly float over to the other side. Yeah, I don't know if it was in the video after Tom cuts it, but we played one match where it hit the net and it just rolled over on our yeah. side and we lost. Well, there was also that one great time where it just kind of went 
and like through the air and it just kind of stopped and went backwards and yeah. then kept going. We, <laughs> yeah. had, we had a little then, bit of the neck goes kind of weird, but I mean, the neck it is, is it's a good tight. For, oh yeah, it's, it's but it's good for the most part. But yeah, I've had some weird things happen. Very little but. weird things happen, especially for a, a, a test fire test punch. Yeah. Like we had the ball roll back yesterday, or the first day of the test bunch when we played it. When I played, at least I had to grab and went directly through an opponent and just didn't register. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I was left open to get hit. So. I mean, so. other than that, the next week, week smell is probably two v two because the tether. Two v two is is oh. so annoying. Yeah, the tether that keeps you two together, you and your partner. If one of you gets grabbed and thrown. It automatically grabs and throws you, sort of, because both people get tethered and thrown, and you take like a little bit less damage than them. Like yeah, I think at one point, damage. yeah, hundred damage. Uh, yeah, whoever there. gets thrown gets one hundred and fifty. Well, at least it depends on the character. Yeah, it depends I guess. on where the throw is. But uh, like when I was playing as a uh, ribbon girl or whatever, I was throwing them, and the main guy I threw got one hundred fifty damage, and the one who's with him just got a hundred. I guess it's sort of there, so. One character, so it kind of kills them both off at the same time, maybe. It might change if depending on the characters, because like Master Mummy has huge yeah. throw damage, mm -hmm. so. But like, the only reason I could see that mechanic being there is for like, so both characters sort of get whittled down at once because they don't want one per, they don't really want a one v two situation, even mm -hmm. though it can happen, and that's when it gets sort of annoying. Also, is because like you're basically just might as well stop unless they have like one person with really low health and then just focus them and then go on to the next person. But I mean, basically the strategy for like a two v two match is just w or have your friend try and get grabbed and get then the punch first. the person who's grabbing them or grab the person who's grabbing them and then throw. Get them. the first throw. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can just keep chaining them together, and it kind of just becomes a free for all where just you're just like punching randomly. You're not mm -hmm. trying to do any strategy to it. You're just trying to grab, say, "Oh my God, uh, I got grabbed!" And, like punch them, and then like your partner will punch them and like cancel out the grab. That's the only really strategy, as opposed to like even volleyball had like a small amount of strategy. Well, in one v one, I it feels like you're trying to outplay your opponent and, yeah. and use your your arms to their to their advantage against yeah. their arms, and you have to figure out what the best way to do that. In two v two, it's just hectic. It's just like I gotta do something. I gotta throw punches. Yeah, most of the time I was just like I can't even like react to what's going on. So just well, punch, 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 punch. The camera is what it is because you're using like all the buttons for something basically. Yeah. Um, but it's it sucks because the other person will just go out of your view and as well. They're yeah. doing something. I don't know. Yeah. Is even the three the free for all ones is very problematic with that because yeah. if you end up in between but both of them, but at least that's somewhat manageable. Yeah. And because it's just one other person and you're just like, okay, well, I'm gonna try and get over well, here. Well, there w is four free four player free. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I, we didn't we, run into I did it, tonight, it yesterday. But, I didn't do it today. Yeah. But that was that's bad. Yeah. We can talk about the mode matchmaking too for the for the mode that they did just for this test punch. I'm assuming. But it would it would just randomly put you in a match, and we were playing two people on the same console as a thing, and it wouldn't it wouldn't let you play most of like ninety percent of the time. It would just put one person in with another person. It wouldn't let both of us play in the same match, either against each other or yeah. I don't even think we ever got to play against. No, each other. we didn't yeah, play I don't against each other. Would, I don't think that's part of the mode uh, is to play against each other. I think you, there's probably like a separate mode for that. Probably, like, but um. Yeah. Even to just let each other like do split screen, it was like very rare for that to happen. We yeah. had a lot of cases where player two mostly played with someone else that yeah. wasn't I think, there. I think player two only I I was playing as player two like the whole time, and I only got to one v one one person. It just kept putting me into like either two v twos, volleyball, like I or like two or like two v like basically just like the three player free for all. I think I played once, but like. It, it the way that it does it where it's random kind of is garbage, especially well, where it, it, it wasn't really random. It was more like it was always a one v one, then a two v two, one v one, two v two. But guess, player two yeah. always got stuck with a random person with them, yeah. Rather than their player one team. Well, I think that was more of a symptom of like how it started off to where like I think once it starts matchmaking where player one had a 1v1 or something, then it's like, oh, player two needs to do something on his own now. Like, not like, oh, can we just bring it back together? Because player one just played a match. And I think we got stuck in like an endless circle until we played a game where both the people left. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, this person actually didn't get to play a real game. So now, then after that, I think we got more 2v2s and stuff like that. I wonder if they did put that much thought into an algorithm like that. I mean, it makes sense. Because that's, that's just a problem, it I guess. It like that, what was happening, yeah. yeah. That's a problem, I guess, that comes up from... Because even uh, when I was playing alone, it was... 
a 1v1, then 2v2. 1v1, 2v2. Yeah. So, it's not like a thing that happened just because a player 2 is there. But the player 2 kind of got the well, yeah, bad but, end of the stick but, for it. Yeah. Well, like, it's what we're saying is just like, it, did, it tried to do a 1v1 for player 1, yeah. then it tried to do like a 1v1 for player 2, and then it tried but to it do like a 2v2. Because, it couldn't because of the game forcing a 2v2 yeah. every time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and it seemed like we ended up playing 2v2 volleyball a lot. A lot. Like, way too yeah. much. And the volleyball is... The volleyball like, happened probably half our matches. The vo volleyball is funky. It feels like the volleyball kind of just floats in midair. Yeah, it and just kind of goes in it, like, it, just it doesn't feel like... It, yeah, it, it feels like it only goes as far as you push it. It doesn't feel like it keeps going no, when yeah, you're there's done. There's no momentum on the ball. Yeah, there's no momentum. Like, you punch it... It'll like go over their side about as far as your fist went to punch it over there, and you're like, okay, well, thanks. Unless you spike it, that's the only time where it gets really momentum, and that's where you grab the ball, and then your other player or you can then punch it, and then it spikes it down. But then we were thinking that there might be an interesting mechanic to where like you charge up your fist, you or your partner charges up the fist, you set it up there, then punch it, and it, it would just down. do it, like a super fast spike. We didn't get to try that because we didn't think of it soon enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because for some reason Nintendo was like, you can only play for an hour every Which day, is kind of or lame, two hours for, or three for today. It's three, three a day, but it's three separate hours, six hours yeah. apart. Uh huh. Yeah. Why? Well, I'm assuming it's because people who live on the other oh, side of the yeah. world don't want to play. They have their head. Well, but I think why not just leave it open? Yesterday the whole time. and tomorrow's, I think, are only in the North America, right? Or whatever. There's no. Two, there's two the days. Only one, in North the only ones that were in North America were the first Fridays. So, so yesterday, yesterday, and then what's going to be? I think June first. Okay, whatever. I don't it's, know. I looked at their website. It, it, just, it just feels only. garbage. Like every other game I've ever known, that's not Nintendo. It's just like here's a weekend to play it. Here's a like, weekend here's the beta. beta. Yeah. yeah, every other, literally every other. Game. Here's seven combined hours over the course of a weekend. Like, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. It, it's just like, I mean, but it, they're letting us play their game for free. I mean. Yeah, is the, game, is the game gonna have an official demo? No, not that, not that I don't. Th I don't okay. think they usually don't I doubt do that. So. Especially if they have like a like a test punch or test like beta yeah, like this, true. they usually don't do demos. For a multiplayer game, they have never done a demo. I don't think. No, they've only done like test things like Splatoon and this. But I mean, honestly, if I'm gonna have to like sort of like wrap it up, I mean, I'd say that. Depending on how much single player content there is, like a full story mode and the extra characters, then aren't there like three extra characters that weren't in right in the three test characters launch? we know about that weren't in. Okay. So. Like and how many extra characters? Because like it kind of seems like I didn't play many other characters. I played like Ninjara, yeah. uh, regular dude, Spring Boy or whatever, and um, Ribbon Girl. But like it, it without any extra characters, it's kind of it, it's just kind of falling flat and doesn't feel like it feels more like a. $30 or $40 release that goes on like just randomly comes up one day and you're like, oh, this is something I can play, you know, with friends. But it's like this game and one two switch, Nintendo's like, it's worth sixty dollars. Yeah. Here you go. Definitely I, I this game is worth more than sixty more oh. than one two switch. Oh, but this easy. game I feel like is gonna be worth sixty in like six months a year. Yeah, well can we talk Cause... about how uh unbalanced all the characters felt yes. too? Yeah. Ribbon Girl was by far seemed the most OP, like uh, I think we can all agree. She is fast. I mean, is I'm sure there's going to be some stupid ass bitches. There's a there's a counter for her. Yeah, you need to just learn how to pick she, your counter as well. She had jump. she had quick punches. She had yeah. quick jumps. She had a quick dodge. Yeah, three jumps. She can jump three times. So stupid. So it's like she just felt like she could just evade you repeatedly. Yeah. The only reason I didn't pick her is because Min Min is a hundred times better. Hey, that's pretty good. There aren't very many, like, you can just be like, oh, I'm gonna try, I'll play them, but it's just like, those things don't really counter each other, they're just, like, stupid OP things that wreck the game. Each player if, has, yeah. If it becomes any sort of competitive thing, it's gonna be very much, who has the most abusable ability, yeah. and that's what's gonna be the meta. They need to definitely do some balance changes before they finish. If they want it to be, like... Good, if they want it to be a fun game. It's also Nintendo and they probably won't change yeah. it to be competitive. They think it's fun as it is. Probably. Oh yeah, it's fine. Everyone gets to beat e or everyone up like super hard if they all play like one character. 
Yeah, everyone, there's gonna be a million Min Min picks and a million Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon girl girl Girls. Picks. Well, we did that Ribbon Girl Min Min combo one time where we like wrecked their lives. Yeah. I, there are so many Min Min's on. Yeah. Well, it's hard to tell if the person you're playing is just terrible if they're using motion controls. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> motion controls. I'm are using tilt motion controls. Motion control. Yeah. I'm using dual controls. You lost a lot of accuracy with motion controls. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I played all motion controls most of the time. I think there's only one game I won't be one with the controller, and I mean, yeah, it's kind of you lose accuracy, but you can like. I, it, you can throw off punches a little bit quicker where like choosing direction and stuff because like you don't have to go through like It's not even that hard to move the stick, but it's more like reactionary, you know? Yeah It's just like throwing that that's like the only thing I could see the only reason anyone would ever try and use like motion controls, you know? My issue with motion controls is a lot of I would be blocking and I tried to punch out a block and my hand was already tilted So the punch would just go all the way to the side <laughs> Yeah. Just because I'm trying to punch out a block, and it's like, oh well, my hand's already to the side, so... Yeah. I only tried the motion controls for like one match, and I was like, I'm not doing this again. Yeah, well, also it seems like, um... Some of the people's, like, pu are punches and stuff, and like their, well, like, their hands that they can have and swap out seemed a little bit more, like, OP in specific modes, like... The 2v2, if like uh, you're playing Min Min, like her dragon thing, you're mm -hmm. trying to dodge one person, all of a sudden her dragon no, thing comes like in big laser and just, flying yeah, in. there's like, if they have both lasers, just shoot, shoot, well, that's what I, lasers going all over 99% of the time I spent playing the, the test punch, I used the the curvy spinny boomerang thing and the, la the dragon laser. Like. Yeah, there's, there's, for me there was like no other option because it was just, it was the yeah. best. I didn't see anybody really playing the mechanoid chick or like the slime No, dude. I never saw, I saw like one person in the lobby and I don't think I ever played against her. I played against both of them, but like they were hard, few and far between. Like even when they played, it was just like... Eh. The first day there was a lot of those blobs. I found, it was, yeah. It was, yeah. it's mostly... I ran into a lot of the first day. These are like the top three picks, Ribbon Girl, Min Min, and The Blob. Mm -hmm. That's That was my... What I noticed, and there was a lot of Ninjara today too. A lot of Ninjara oh, yeah. today. A lot of. Well, it's just because he's weeaboo. A lot of Minmin today, and a lot of Ninjara. Always today. a lot of Minmin. People love their Minmin. Mm -hmm. I love my Minmin. We're gonna love uh, Twintel when the actual game releases. Yeah. Minmin's better. <laughs> but I mean, in general, Nintendo just kind of needs to do some balancing shifts, and if there's enough uh, content there, it might be worth the purchase. But yeah, I might buy it if there's enough content. But right it. now, ten fighters and what like thirty arms there in it. Yeah. I is not enough for me. And like, just the, spe the three game modes or whatever, like volleyball and like the specific fighting between the different people. Well, I mean, it'll be better when you can choose what modes you want to play. Yeah, I guess. Like, I'd only play ranked one if I got it. Yeah. Just because I, mean, I don't want to yeah. deal with the dumb bombs that appear in the middle of the match. I don't want to deal with 2v2. I, I wasn't so, I didn't think they were so bad. The bombs and the well, items. I, I got screwed over the by a couple. Well, I mean, it can, blew up when I grabbed someone the only, before The only thing that, I had so. a problem with was the the um it seemed like the spawn location. It always seemed to spawn them on the person who was doing better. Yeah, like the healing item would just yeah, spawn it would on, spawn like, on the, the person with like almost full health. I was like, well, thanks for that. That's yeah, really helpful. Like Mike had just died or something when we were doing a two v two, and then all of a sudden, yeah, like, it literally just spawned right into well, yeah, two people. One guy had like no health left, and I was like, okay, maybe I can get this guy down and one v one the other person. Immediately spawns like a health circle right around them, and I'm like, well, I'm I'm dead. And like, they both got like almost like half, and the other guy had like max health. So I just basically was like, I'll try, but I died. Yeah. I guess I'll just die. Guess I'll just die, yeah. <laughs> that old dude. But yeah, I mean, Nintendo is, is I it's it's more content than I thought it was going to be, yeah, but it, still not enough. It's also uh faster paced than I thought it'd be. Yeah, I guess. I, I thought it'd be slower, it's a bit faster than I thought it'd be. Mostly, I, I think I was playing mostly Min Min, she's relatively quick. I still think it's kind of slow. Well, it's, just it's slower paced than other things. But. I guess it's because of the way I play, it kind of, kind of feels slow. It's cause it just There's no reason not to just jump, dodge, and grab. Yep. It's such a strong tactic. Yep. Well, for now, until people learn to defend against it. Yeah, I guess. I mean, but you can't really like, not you much block, to, you can just dodge. There's not much to defend when you throw a well, grab and they if, have no arms If by someone's them. just repeating the same strategy over and over, and you can learn to counter pretty quick. Yeah, yeah I but, guess. But yeah. So everyone's uh, final verdict on the game from the looks, suspect? Looks interesting. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's more information. Is there more information on like the single player content? I guess we'll get it. Probably three. Yeah, uh, I'm waiting to see on that. I feel like I might buy it. Like, there's probably a 60% chance right now that I'll buy it at some point. Not June now that I already stated that I can't. Yeah. I to mean, me, it's promising maybe like a Christmas purchase. 
Yeah. A holiday okay. season purchase. Maybe if I have enough friends playing it and like it allows like a good cool group party mode to where like you could group up and play with each and other. There's up to eight people apparently as yeah. as opposed as um, up to like twenty. N Nintendo eShop link. Twenty I it's like you can do like twenty person lobbies. Oh, okay, lobbies! No, eight people in a game. You I can't think. do eight people in one game. I, Max is four. No, they showed yeah. on the thing one to eight players on the Nintendo eShop. There was like a leak. I don't. It could be wrong, but there was that's. They like didn't a, show an eight player mode. No, so. I know they didn't, but there's. I mean, it's like one to eight players I on mean, the Nintendo eShop at some point. Apparently, mm -hmm. in the end, Tom, all I gotta say is all we can hope for is a, spin a fidget spinner arm. That you can use. I mean, they kind of already have spinner ones, but you know, like a fidget spinner one. Imagine.